Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Gio with Mighty Dubia Feeders, and today we are going to talk about different containers for your dubia or for any insects that you have purchased. Uh, the reason why we're making this video is because a lot of our clients have asked us, hey, do, what, do we, what do I do with them now? Do I keep them in the deli cup that they came in? Do I put them in a larger container? What size, etc.? So that's the reason for today's video. Uh, we're always doing uh, videos like this for you guys. So if you want to go ahead and subscribe on our YouTube channel, that's awesome. We're also uh, on the on the website, uh, www.bodydubiefeeders.com. Uh, so follow us there. We always uh, do videos like this for you guys, as well as uh, just kind of show showcase our inventory. Uh, but today's video is gonna be specifically about our a container for your dubia roaches. So let's get started. All right, so what is what size is the correct size? Well, it kind of depends what, what you're doing. So let's say, for example, you're, uh, you're one that do, you're like, I don't want a roach colony. There's just no way I want to keep these bugs. Uh, but maybe you want to, you order maybe 200, 300 at a time, and you're concerned about keeping them in a small deli cup, which it should be fine as long as you're feeding those insects. But let's say you can always go to something like, let's say, for example, this size, which is, which is a six quart. Uh, Nothing fancy about it. These are just containers that you can get at Walmart or any store, really. And on this, guys, well, you, all you got to do is basically just put the lid, kind of like that. Uh, in this case, I use a, I believe it's a 3 16 drill bit. And just basically just poke some holes on the top and they pretty much are good to go. There, Just put an egg flat in there, an egg carton. Uh, that way they have somewhere to hide. And just feed them. Uh, feed them well, feed them you know, vegetables. I'm going to say that you can also feed them our mighty dubia feeder or mighty dubia roach chow, which is delicious. We haven't tried it ourselves, but the roaches love it. So, six quart container works great for that if you're just doing like a small count. But then, if you want to move on to, let's say you want to start with, for example, one of our starter colonies, uh, which is about 100 bucks or so, then you want to go maybe to a to maybe like an 18 gallon, which is still a little bit on that on the bigger end. Uh, 100 roaches. Uh, that's kind of big, but if your colony is thriving, then you have, there's definitely the real estate for them to grow. So I'll show you the size of an 18, uh, an 18 gallon. So this is about an 18 gallon, which is still a little bit kind of big for just a hundred roaches. But like I said, there's plenty of room for them to grow in. Uh, you don't want to fill this up full of egg crates if you do get one this big, just because you want them to have easy access to their food and their water. So if you if you just fill it up with uh, egg flats, then then you're basically they they got to travel around to find that. Uh, so how do we make that lid? The, the, the lid. Uh, well, the first thing that you want to consider is there's really not a right or a wrong way to do this. Okay. So I've done all different shapes, all different sizes, just because I like the way one looks over the other one. So what I've done basically is I've done. I've used the window screen before, which works great. Just the regular window screen that you can buy at Lowe's, Home Depot, any any hardware store. The uh, and then it's this is probably one of the easiest ways because once you cut the hole, uh, is either round or if you want to do a square, then you can hot glue this stuff on there, and it's pretty quick. I don't like it as much just because hot glue just kind of you know it's there, it's always coming off. It's you know it kind of gets loose, so it's not my favorite. Uh, I use chicken wire. So for example, in this example, let me take the top off this one. In this example, what I've done is basically taken a, uh, a two inch uh, hole saw that so you just put this on your drill bit and just basically cut out the holes. And then I got a six inch hole in this one. And what I like about the chicken wire is that it's kind of sturdy. What I like about it is, and we can talk about heating on another video, but what, what I like about it is that I have basically created this six inch hole, for example, in this one, which is perfect size for a, for a porcelain heater. And on, during the cold season, this thing sits right on top of there, and I don't have to worry about touching the plastic or getting the, the plastic overheated. So I really like, I like this one. It is a little bit more time consuming because you have to basically drill a hole and then you gotta cut out the uh, the chicken wire and it, you, you'll get poked several times. This stuff is pretty sharp. And then what I just did on here, I just basically used some zip ties and just 
drill a couple of holes and just zip tie the chicken wire to this and it's it's pretty sturdy so i like this it looks pretty clean i mean some people are like who cares right you know some people are more a little bit more anal they like to you know like they have they, they want everything to be nice and, and neat so that's kind of what i'm doing that's what i did with this guy so i really like that one the uh the container that we're going to make today i'm actually using uh these louvers that i bought uh these are basically like uh, for your house and we'll put this on the on the description they're basically louvers for uh, that go in between studs or uh, in, in between trusses in, 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 the, in the soffit. So what I like about these is they're actually to keep bugs away. Uh, and it looks like a very simple, um, you basically just, these are basically a three inch. So what I'm gonna do with these is just basically cut out a hole with the hole saw hole through there. And then this thing is just gonna pop right in there. And then from the inside, it's got this little little legs that are just gonna basically just gonna just sit there and then if it's a little bit loose I might add a little glue uh, hot glue to it but I think this is gonna be pretty easy and uh, and it's also gonna look nice and clean there's not gonna be a bunch of uh, things sticking out so I think I think I'm gonna like this but that's, so that's we're gonna use this today it's my first time using it so hopefully it looks great so basically that's pretty much it uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started we're gonna go and uh, get the container started for you guys do it. All right guys, welcome back. We are in the bowels of Mighty Doobie Feeders headquarters. It is very <laughs> hot out here. So yeah, over 100 degrees in Houston right yeah, now every we're, day. So we're cooking here. So like, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we got this 18 uh, gallon container that we're going to do. We're going to do this. It's going to be the first time using these uh, louvers that I mentioned. These uh, little, these are little insect, the little insect okay, covers. Let me, let me get a little closer to the air and see what you're talking about. They're called louvers. They're, they're like a, it's like a like a louver co cover. Oh, louver. Okay. It's just to keep insects uh, out. So I'm gonna do this. So there's no exact, there's no perfect way of doing this. You can just kind of, you can, you know, you can play around with the design that you want. Uh, in this case, I think I'm just gonna go probably two on the top, and then I'm probably gonna do maybe two, two on the sides like this. Uh, now, how much? How, mu how many do you need or how much ventilation do you need? It kind of depends really on where you live. Uh, you know, they like to, the, the Dubia likes some humidity. It's already pretty humid in Houston, as you can tell. I'm already sweating here. I've been only here for like 10 minutes. Uh, now, if, you, uh, if you're in a drier area and you overventilate it, uh, then it's, then it's going to lose some of that, some of that humidity. Uh, some people put uh, like a wet towel on top of one of the coverings just to add some humidity in there or kind of or spray inside just to make it a little bit more humid. We don't have that concern here in Houston. It's just, it's humid enough. So I think I'm just gonna go with two on the top, uh, two on the sides and we'll start there and then we'll see what it looks like. And then, uh, so we'll get started. All right guys, so I got my, uh, my drill bit here and I have a, a hole saw. This is gonna be a three inch hole saw just because I know that these covers are our three inch, so we're gonna use a hole saw to cut a hole on the top. So, all right, here we go. Hopefully I don't make a wider hole than it needs to be. So let's see, I'm gonna go, now if you wanna get all scientific and measure it, that's, yeah, that's, that's, your, that's your choice. I'm not going to, I'm just gonna like, kinda like guess it here. So I'm just gonna go by right there. gonna make a mess. So you're definitely gonna clean all this and gonna wash it before you put your bugs in here obviously. Okay. All right so the other one I'm gonna do by uh, like right here. Perfect. All right awesome. All right so now Double this up out here. So now this thing. Now. Wait, can I ask a question for the people? Sure. Um, I noticed on some of your other bins that you've done, you're just doing two in this one. Yeah. 
is that because it's of the size of it, or like if you have a bigger tote? Um, um, if they're uh, wanting to do like a bigger tote for whatever reason, would you need to put more of those? Or and I noticed in some of our small ones, you put like a big square and then some, or or a bigger one than that. Right. Too small. Is there? I think I think some of it has just been kind of just ex experimentation, and I don't think any of them are, are wrong. I think some of them uh, I decided to do a square first, and then some of them I did, I did a round one. The reason why I did the round one, the the one that I showed you earlier, the six inch hole. Uh, I put the chicken wire so I was able to lay that that heater porcelain heater on there but that was just what I decided to do at that moment it keeps changing there so like I said there's no exact way of doing this I'm just showing you one way of probably a hundred ways mm -hmm. and no uh, in no way am I trying to claim that this is the only way that you should do a, a, a container I'm just showing you a way uh, and this and the reason why I'm doing it this way is just because I want to try these 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 covers here uh, for simplicity so, so, can I ask one more question? If uh, somebody lives in a more drier uh, area, like we live in a very humid one, yeah. so do you need more ventilation in no, a you, drier area? Or like, should they have more holes if they're like in a? You want to you want to have less holes if you if you're in a drier area. If you, for example, if you're misting it to kind of keep some of that humidity up, then you want you you would want less holes so the humidity is not escaping. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. That's but you know, you still have to have enough ventilation to so they don't die. Mm -hmm. uh, but you don't want to just poke holes all the way around. So that way, some of the humidity thing, uh, maintains inside the enclosure. So this guy now, this should fit in here perfectly. And what I like about this, the reason why I got these is because once I place it in here in my three inch, this is a three inch hole. Now I go back here, and I just oh, now all I got to do is just fold these things in here like that. And I don't have to sit there and worry about hot glue gun, zip ties, and I got. Cool. So that's really simple and really quick. So once you got your hole cut out, then that that just goes right in there. And I mean, this is so this is so much simpler. That's the reason why I wanted to try this. this. Is my first time trying this because I wanted to see if it was really going to be that easy, and it, it, it is, and it is. I mean, this thing is like this is perfect, oh, yeah. you know. So this is great. I mean, this is going to keep the, the size of these, the, the screen, that's going to keep basically any size nymph uh, from escaping. Yeah. Dubious don't climb anyways. Uh, Discoids don't climb anyways. But if, for example, if you're doing this for, uh, for a colony of, uh, let's say, some type of hisser, mm -hmm. uh, then they're not going to get out of this. And then if you, don't, if you feel like maybe you need to add like a little hot glue here just to add it on the edge, then you can also do that. I think that's probably a good idea too. If I was keeping hissers or any climbers, any kind of roach that climbs, I would probably add just a layer, just just in case. A layer of hot glue. Of hot glue, glue or yeah, or even on the top here, um, just, to just to prevent that. I don't think they would escape though. I mean, this thing is pretty, it's on there pretty good. Pretty so good. I think what I would do, I'm going to do this on this one. I will, I will add some additional, probably three sixteenths uh, drill bit holes just to add just a couple extra holes in here. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't even know if that's really necessary. But I, but I I will do that. So now I'm going to do, I'm going to add another one to this, to this side, on, uh, on both sides. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to pop a hole on that too, on this side. So here we go. There we go. Now, I'm wearing safety glasses. We're not going to talk about. We're not going to talk about safety. Practice safety always. Uh, I'm already wearing some some goggles, so I don't need them. I wouldn't really call those goggles. But yeah, but it's it's something. <laughs> I do see your goggles on the back uh, tool thing hanging up. Yeah, 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 I should put them on, but always practice safety. All right, so I'm going to put that same thing. Put it in here, and I am in the house, man. This is this is. This, this, this is literally taking you like five this minutes. This is this is so great. Now the other examples that I showed you, uh, where I was using the chicken wire, you, know, you got to think about it. You got to you got to cut the hole or the square. You got to cut the chicken wire and get poked a lot, and then you got to cut the the drill holes. Uh, in the example that I had using the uh, the zip ties, then I got to cut, cut holes with zip ties too. So it's a lot of work. And also uh, more expensive, don't you think? Because you have to buy more things. Like yeah, like this, these uh, I mean, these things here 
uh, and I, uh, we'll put the uh, description on the, uh, we'll put the name of where, where I got these from. But I mean, these things were awesome and they were not, they're, they were not expensive at all. Uh, I, they might have these at, at, at the hardware store. Uh, I didn't go, I didn't, I didn't really look for them when I was at Lowe's or Home Depot. I just went online and found this, uh, this company. Uh, so we'll put that in the description for you guys if, if that's what you're interested in. But I think this, I think these are awesome and they're so quick. And look, it's, it's already in there. It's not, it's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna do the other side now. clean though there's no hot glue mess ever anywhere it's on there pretty good uh, you can add a little thin layer I guess you could add a little thin layer of, of, of hot glue if you choose but I mean this thing looks great I think I like it awesome yay I'm gonna tap myself on the head tap yourself and give yourself a nice wipe let me get give myself a nice wipe too because it's hot out here I've got you some uh, for Father's Day some of those Holding so, rags or whatever yeah. that come in handy. So anyway, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, like I say, keep keep watching our channel. We always post things that are helpful for for you insect lovers and your reptile lovers. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope you found this this video helpful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and subscribe. Hit the ring bell for notifications, and uh, we love you guys. Thanks a lot for watching.